Hello and welcome back to live social media news. We were off last week, but now we are back. Um, our special guest today is Chino. Uh, Chino, thank you. Thank you for welcome to the me. show. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment right there, because that is a nice looking cup you have there, or glass, oh, or yeah, container, yeah. whatever that is though. Sorry, yeah. we had a week off. We relaxed though, but today's Good Friday, so I hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, we're gonna start today's news. Um, with, with some, some sad news. Sad news. Um, so as we all know, that on Tuesday, March 22nd, in uh, Brussels, Belgium, uh, three contained nail bombs were set off in the uh, Brussels airport. Bastards. And, yep, and the metro uh, station. Uh, 31 victims were killed, and over around 300 people were injured. Uh, ISIS has taken full responsibilities, which is uh, almost like a semi-sequel to what happened in France uh, last, last year late last year that's the right word um so but terrorism. terrible they suck though to be yeah. honest though but yeah. uh it's the dead belgium has said it's the deadliest uh terrorist attack it has ever seen and uh well they just make chocolate there so they don't really see too much action right? touche the chocolate makers and chocolate. The chocolate makers but uh breaking news actually this afternoon though uh so there's a little bit in the belgium brussels area on the streets a huge explosion and gunfight happened and the police actually arrested one of the terrorists that actually escaped Excellent. uh i'm gonna butcher his name but we'll try this again Ariba el baraka I, I, ibrahim ibrahim el El Bakaraku, Bakaraku, or something like that. whatever. He's a piece of yeah. shit. One of the ISIS members, he uh, was caught in a huge gunfire and explosions against police. They captured him. One is still on the loose. So uh, from here, from everyone, distractional news and the world. Screw you, ISIS. Screw you. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, I just remember the good old days where you know it was just you know who your bad guys were. You went and you got warned, yeah, you tapped them. Now they you know, manipulate people. I don't understand why ISIS yeah. is still around. Like they have those drones, they can, US can just bomb them. No, I, don't, I don't understand. It's They're still around. Controversy, because you know, people say that, you know, it's all because, you know, America has funded, you know, back in the Taliban with them weapons and money That's and all true. that kind of stuff. It's, it's just an endless end of bullshit. You can't really talk too much about it. Yeah, you know, we don't want to, conspiracy stuff and we're not. I don't have any bodyguards right yeah, now. Yeah, so. we're gonna we're gonna get to bodyguards we'll in a moment we'll though. We got there. more news, but uh, so again, one of the terrorists, ISIS terrorists, is still on the loose, and also a little bit him. of uh, better news too. The French attacks that happened late last year, they actually caught the remaining ISIS member. Excellent. He, yes, they caught him, and he uh, waived his rights to try to run. He just gave up and he uh, turned himself in, pretty much. Excellent. Yeah. So all I gotta do is capture all the ISIS and uh, destroy them. But I'm not turning into Donald Trump who's trying to say we're going to take them all down because... Or I'm just make them into good people. Turn them into good people. Hey, if a Terminator can do it... Yeah, you know, why not? You go from T-800 to, you know, protecting John exactly. Connor. Exactly. It's all, it's all good. Uh, some more sad news. Uh, yeah, Rob sad Ford, news. yes. Toronto Mayor Rob Rest Ford peace. has died. He's lost his two-year uh, two battle with uh, cancer. Cancer, yep. Actually, uh, so yeah. Condolences going Condolences out to, to his the family, family, to his wife Rada, his, campaign. his two kids, his yep. brother Doug. But uh, we all know Rob Ford here in Toronto, but again, the world knows him as well. Yeah. Um, Rob Ford, a controversial, loud spoken, outspoken mayor uh, who ran for mayor of Toronto from 2010 to 2014. He. Uh, he had some stories to him that kind of would probably go yeah. down to history. But I think uh, he represented the uh, Toronto Tarians pretty good. Though. Yeah, he he did a good job. He cared about the people. Right. He uh, he was kind of mayor. If you uh, if something was bothering you, he would go to your door and fix it. He wouldn't be like, oh yeah yeah, I'll take a look at it, and nothing ever gets done. He right. there's stories of Rob Ford that actually uh, actually a Torontonian. Torontonians. Torontonians. Tronto yeah, I'm from Winnipeg. We call we're called. Peggy's? Pagers. Oh, okay. Pagers. <laughs> Pagers. Pagers is also yeah. something very different uh, for you boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> um, I heard okay, a actually, yeah, no, we're not going to get into that because small kids might be watching and I really don't want to plug Jared Pope right now. So back to, yeah, winner Pagers, Pagers. Okay. Pagers, yes. okay. So uh, Rob Ford, he, um, then he shows sure one person that was having problems with their sewage system and they made a call into uh, the city council and Rob Ford shut up to the door got the city to fix it, and he was very, uh... He takes care of shit. He takes care of stuff. He gets he down takes, to the business, yeah, though. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, again, there's also other stories about him, how he, uh, smoked Smoke a crack. little crack. Um, Who doesn't smoke crack? I don't. I well, do. not I everybody. Do. I don't. Not everyone. Not everybody. My grandma does, but... It's frowned upon. Yeah. 
My grandma is like, so what? I'm 87. I can smoke crack. I'm like, Grandma, please what? stop it. It's Christmas. And she's like, you shut your goddamn mouth. We're eating the turkey. You're going to watch me smoke crack. Well, she's a veteran, so she's... She never fought in a war, but she can well, she's a veteran. There you go. She wears like a bandana, she goes and she collects money. Any excuse to get on that pipe. And then right? all the people are like, oh, stolen valor, stolen valor. And she just like, you want to fight? She wins all the time, though. I love my grandma. She, my grandma just actually hurt herself uh, the other oh, day. No. Though. Yeah. My grandma flashes everybody. So. I know she does. She has some great <laughs> sets on her, yeah. though. Sorry, we're, we're going beyond off track. Okay. Back to Rob Ford, though. But it's controversy. We're talking about controversy issues. It's Rob Ford. It's our tribute to him. Right. But uh, Rob Ford, uh, yeah. We're so going to throw a little clip. We'll of... get to that in a second. Okay. But uh, he's left with the, he uh, his wife, uh, Ren, Re Renta Ford, and his uh, brother, Doug. And he's survived okay. by his two kids. And, uh, you know, they're actually going to put his body on display at City Hall for uh, Monday. Excellent. And Tuesday, which Anybody I don't really wants do to that. go and see, see it? See, I've only seen that in dictatorship countries. Are they going to have like a red carpet viewing his stuff? Popcorn. Pop I mean, just like, I mean, we'll it's going to be, are they going to put him on strings yeah. and make him come out? Well, he's um, definitely going to be waxed, that's for sure. Now you're bum falls. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> but uh, actually, at Distractional <laughs> Studios, we actually put together a little tribute video of the Moments of Rob Ford throughout the time of mayor that we thought that um, yeah, shines the best of him. Yeah, so if you want to take nice. a quick look at this uh, video tribute that uh, we put together, there uh, we go. Let's, let's take a look. Take a look. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was nice. It's yeah. going time to the Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Rob Ford dancing it up. I love that dance. I stole that dance and he's in the club. Oh, Actually. there he goes. He's making his way down. Oh, excellent. Oh, he's gonna rush him like that. Do you smoke crack cocaine? Exactly. Yes, I have some crack cocaine. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. I love his dance. We're gonna miss you, buddy. Yep. Rob Ford, 1959 to 2016. Uh, like ISIS, cancer sucks as well. So go to hell, ISIS, and go to hell, cancer. Yeah. I mean, you lost anyone to cancer? I have. I've lost my um, grandpa. Not that I know of, but yes. Oh, yeah. Well, go to hell, cancer. Um, also, <laughs> sad and actually shocking news: uh, comedian Gary Shandling died at the age of 66. Oh, that's not funny Just, at all. We don't know. Yeah, exactly. We don't. I, I hate you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Gary Shanlin died at age 66. Uh, we don't know the cause of death yet, but uh, you might know Gary Shanlin from the Larry Sanders show. Uh, he also did, he's a, on Johnny Carson many, many times. Oh, yes, yes. He, yes. I um, didn't find him. He was also funny. in Iron Man 2, and he was also oh, in that's uh, right. Captain America Witcher Soldier. He played a politician who was part of Hydra, but uh, it's been kind of shocking news. All the great people are dying this, uh, this year. We've got David Bowie, Alan Rickman, Gary Shanlin, Rob Ford. My fingers are cracking. Yeah, uh, they're, they're dropping off. The legends are dying, and we're left with Justin Bieber and the Kardashians. Great. Yeah. Okay, and some, some brighter news. Jared Fogle from Subway Spokesman got his ass kicked in jail. Yes, Jared That's Fogle. Great. We all know the pedophile from Subway who also went to jail for, what was it, 15 years for, uh, for child porn collection and for having sex with an underage prostitute. Disgusting. While in jail, he's been flaunting his money, and he actually hired bodyguards, yes, to protect him. But apparently, a uh, other inmate named Steve Nig, who 60 years old, did not like this. He was like, you know what? Good job, Steve Nig. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. But he actually didn't like it. Didn't like how Jared was, you know, showboating his money. And plus, he's a pedophile, which I think every pedophile should get beaten up. Yeah, for Even sure. Worse. At least kicked in the Listen, nuts a few if times. If a dog bites you. Yeah. They cut off their nuts or they kill the pedophile. You know what? If, a pet, if you molest someone, like a child or anyone, get your nuts cut off. That's my opinion, though, okay? Yeah, some sort of 
some sort Castration. of thing. Castration. But uh, right. yeah. But so yeah, so Steve Nick was quoted saying the public believes that these sick predators are being punished when they are sent to prison. The administration treats them like they're on an endangered species list. So what he did was he beat, took uh, Jared Fogel into the courtyard. He beat him up. He has a busted nose, scratched up neck, and bruises all over his face, and his face is all swollen up. So uh, Steve Nig, thank you very much, though. We also, you. the definition of irony just happened. Jared, once again, Jared Fogel has been uh, has got a new job in prison. Excellent. What is that job? He's not the bottom. He actually is making uh, sub sandwiches in prison in the cafeteria. Sandwiches. Yes. Some bologna sandwiches. Bologna sandwiches. Prison. Excellent. Corned beef sandwiches. What do, you, what do you like on your sandwich? I think they only serve bologna sandwiches there. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm talking about in general. You're not present yet. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a nice corned beef sandwich, lettuce, hey, mustard, pickles. Hey, any, anything open face. I'm not going to touch that one, but okay. <laughs> so, so, Chino. Yes. Tell me about yourself, okay? What uh, is that can that's sitting on the table? Well, the, this uh, lovely beverage is Neon. Uh, it's an energy drink. I drink it for some energy, but it's a uh, healthy, um, alternative to other um, energy drinks out there. You know, not so much sugar, uh, good caffeine from it. Very nice. So, so instead of it giving you wings, it gives you balls, you're trying to say that, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, hello. Balls and wings. Oh, but we got some... Neon, uh, may I take a sip of this? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Try it out. See, I have ADHD, so this probably might be uh, giving me cocaine, so this might be... Well, it's, a, it's, it's actually a uh, more clean it's energy. More clean? Yeah, Beautiful. so you're not going to have a crash. You're not going to want to sleep after? Beautiful, because you know what I like mm -hmm. to do when I get home? Take off my pants and eat chicken wings. Wow, that's great. Wow, good, tasty. It is good. Refreshing. Neon Excellent. energy drink. If you want to see refreshed and energized, you get a neon. And we're not plugging that We're not at plugging all. it on. No, no I do no, that at all, though. No. Shameless plugging. But uh, we got some breaking news there. Do you want to... Uh, uh, I'm not too sure. Did you not read? No, no I don't okay. actually. So the, the, the band, the Rolling Stones, yes. The Rolling Stones landed in Cuba for the very first show in Cuba in a very long time. Because as we know, Cuba has opened up, um, you know, because they made peace with the United States. And Barack Obama is the first president in years to make his way to Cuba. Yeah, and it's probably because of his color of his skin. Or he just made peace with that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. that's true. But I, I do believe that his skin opened up his way. I love Barack Obama. I yeah, don't he's, he's a great president. <laughs> but uh, he actually met with uh, the president president of uh, Cuba and they had talked about peace treaties and stuff like that, Excellent. which opened up for America to now travel to Cuba and it's opened up jobs and all that kind of jazz though. That's great. But uh, yeah, now everyone's shit list is now hitting the fan now with Toronto's radio host, John Gramushi, is that how you pronounce it? John Gramushi, yeah, that's 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 right. I, don't, I don't even want to say his name. Gian, thank you, sir. GM. Whatever, I don't want that man's name in my mouth. But apparently, so the story with, behind that though is that uh, uh, he's been accused of five counts of sexual harassment, which includes choking and other harassment. Choking. Form. Choking, like. Oh, 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 oh wow, wow. But apparently, his uh, previous girlfriends or girls he's been with have, uh, su uh, you know, put charges towards him. Uh, he actually was in court for about a couple months, and they he was acquitted of all charges. Apparently, the judge says that. Uh, None of the evidence really builds up and the witnesses' uh, testimony is kind of... Hey, he got free on that one, Yeah, eh? he got free, but that was, <laughs> people weren't happy. So after he left the Toronto courthouse, uh, it, he was met with tons of protesters. Uh, women and men protesting, saying the legal system has failed. Uh, actually, some protesters, this is actually all over Canada too, that have, people have gone to the courthouse to protest this. It's just not in Toronto. But actually, uh, some protesters have uh, resorted to nudity. Oh wow! Yeah, so that there's actually that kind of defeats the purpose of sexual no. harassment. No, no, because it's about free in the nipple, like. Okay. Why, why is men allowed to take off their shirts in public and women aren't? Okay. So they're saying like, it's. I'm all for it. I, it's a, a nipple pro. battle. It's nipple. a nipple battle. Very nipple battle. Well, there's many different nipples. I, really, I realize that nipples from the '70s to that's now very have changed. True. I'm not talking about breast implants. I'm very talking about true. nipples look different in '70s we porno. We need to bring to in a nipple connoisseur. I'll do it. Oh, I'm, oh, okay. okay, I'll do it right now. I'm not even a licensed nipple connoisseur, but I'm doing it now. 70s nipples and 2016 nipples have changed. If you look in the porno, I don't know what. It's not talking about breast implants. I'm just talking about nipples in general. Natural. Like from big ones to like little. No, it's just like the, like the shape and the areola and stuff like that, though. Mm. A big shout out to my mom who's watching, who's rolling hey, her eyes right now. Excellent. Hi, mom. Hi. You can't do nothing. You have no jurisdiction <laughs> over me right now. Okay. <laughs> So she's gonna, I'm gonna hear from her <laughs> from that though. But uh, we're gonna start with a little thing called Random Pointless Facts. We did this last Excellent. week. Excellent, excellent. And uh, 
It's time for some random pointless facts. Let's, let's Take do it. it. Yes. Psychedelic. So our random pointless fact of the day is, did you know that Charlie Brown from comic strip Peanuts, his father was a barber? I Thank did you. Not. That was random pointless facts, everyone. Know. Yes, but yes. That's why he's always got the only the three strings, right? Is it two strings? See, I don't like my key. Okay, I don't. You don't want to piss where you eat. You know what I mean? You don't want to. You don't want your uh, your dad's a doctor. You don't want your dad doing surgery on you. Yeah. Your dad's a barber. You don't want your dad to cut your hair. So Charlie Brown was his guinea pig, per se. Yeah, like you say that. That's mm. Charlie Brown gets picked. See, he just solved a fifty-year-old mystery. I did. Way to go. I did. So, uh, as we know, movie talk now, okay? Sure, yeah. The big news right now is Batman versus Superman. Superman versus Batman. Now, a lot of... The, don't you ever underestimate me, ever. Okay, sure. Batman so, versus <laughs> Superman, ever. So, Batman versus Superman is now uh, in theaters. I haven't seen it, so shh. I have not seen it either, but, but I've heard good things. Uh, I've heard good things. Uh, well, you have not heard good things. Well, apparently... It's been getting, uh, the critics have given it on Rotten Tomatoes a 30%. Oh no. Uh, it was getting great reviews at the beginning, and it all of a sudden just kind of shot down. People were saying it's kind of suffering from the same Spider-Man 3, Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm situation. afraid maybe they put like all the good shots it's, in the commercials, and that's why. Absolutely, it's too much without mm. any like, mm. like, that's why Daredevil works so great, because it has a 13 episode that can expand and stretch the character and the storyline out, but, uh, right. but there is actually an internet meme called Sadat. Ben Affleck right now, where uh, people, the, the interviewer asked him, what's your opinion on the bad press, bad reaction and critics review, and Superman, what's his name, Henry Cavill, went right. on about a long speech and bat, Ben Affleck was just looking sad. I don't blame the man, he put a lot of effort, he put his uh, career on the line to play Batman, ba because Affleck after Daredevil, he's not going to do another superhero movie. And uh, he, he probably will. Oh, he will. They probably he's suck at it money. again. I, the movie's going to make tons of money, they're going to make a Justice League. All I gotta do is fire Zack Snyder. I, I, I yeah, don't think Zack Snyder. Like that, Snyder. Zack Snyder. Sorry, we were off for a week. <laughs> I did a little party. Oh yeah, that was Lex Luthor, right? Zack Snyder? Or no, Zack Snyder's the director. The Jesse director. Eisenberg, which Jesse. is a horrible choice to play Ho Lex That's a, I agree Lex as well. Luther. I yeah. agree. You know who they should have gotten? Brian Cranston. Change his Danny head again. DeVito. That would have been good. Speaking of Danny DeVito, I think hey. my sister Stephanie looks like the penguin from Danny <laughs> yeah. DeVito. She's either laughing, rolling her eyes, or she's like, I'm going to kill him. But no, I don't have a picture. I was going to post a picture of my sister. She looks just like Danny uh, DeVito's that penguin. Is, uh, yeah, that but might not fall into breaking news. Oh, trust me. People oh, will be like, hey, okay. is that Danny DeVito's penguin? I'm like, no, sorry, that's my sister. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Side horrible. swipe to movie horrible. news again. Yes. The biggest, actually, he's been named the biggest box office drawn, biggest box office actor. Harrison Ford has signed on to do Indiana Jones 5. Excellent. No, Ex no, 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 no. No, we're not doing, excellent. We're going to do a pros and cons. Not he's excellent. pro for Indiana Jones 5. I'm against it, and I'll tell you why. Well, they can CGI him running, like, uh, if he's Oh, he's old. still in great. He's in great shape. Oh, he's in good you shape. Him, oh, he was uh. great in Star Wars. But I'm going to say one sentence why I don't think it's any good. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That movie sucked. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ignore the fact the nuke in the fridge because we all we all understand the reason he survived that is because he took he sipped from the uh, oh god what in, in Last Crusade the, the Holy, Holy Grail. Grail he drank right. from it so that's how he could survive you know what I'm gonna let that pass but the aliens and the spaceship and the monkey swinging and Shia LaBeouf buff 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 who knows? Shia LaBeouf, he was an idol. I I was I'm a huge fan of one two and three but four oh my god you didn't like it. No, I sat down. I was like, what the hell is this? So from what you're telling me, I don't think you'd like that movie. The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Right. It, it's better than Batman and Robin. It's better than Spider-Man oh, 3. It's well, better than Avatar. You liked Avatar it a little. Like, Avatar, I'll tell you why I don't like Avatar. <laughs> yeah. Three hours long. It's a copy of Pocahontas, Dancing with the Wolves. Dancing with the Wolves. Dancing oh, that's with the Wolves. a good and movie. The, and the Smurf movie. It was boring. Well, it was some more breaking news. And Excellent. Stupid. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. What's that? Oh, you're breaking news here. Uh, apparently, shots reportedly fired outside Memorial City Mall. Oh, wow. That's scary. Uh, so, everybody uh, take cover. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Hey. Hey. Excellent. Teamwork, nice that's <laughs> what we do here at Distraction. Oh, ba ba bum, ba ba bum, ba ba bum, bum, bum. You heard the new. Well, we'll save that for later. We'll save that for later, though. It's our new show. Okay, we're going to play a game called Guess Who. Guess Everyone, guess who, who this is. 
All right. Okay, guess who's the game we're going to be playing <laughs> where we're going to post a photo of someone and we're going to guess who it is. All right, let's do then it. Let's take a close-up of that. Who do you think that is, okay? Chino, I'm going to take a guess uh, I'm who not that is. Too Can we get a closer sure. look at him to see what he looks like? Okay, there. Well, he has the long white beard, he's bald, and he's running. You want to move your head to the side? Sure, sure. Is it Santa Claus? No. That, that looks kind of like Santa Claus. Oh, no. is it the Unabomber? No, I don't think so. Is it Father Time? No. You not know? too sure. It's yeah. David Letterman. Yes, kids. That oh, what, it is that's David what Letterman. That's what retirement looks like. That is David Letterman. After retirement, he just said, screw it. And he now looks like Santa Claus on crack. Oh, wow. He just let himself go, eh? Yes. I wow. can't wait to. That's I'm actually great. retiring. This is my last show. I'm going to retire. I'm going to grow my beard long. I'm going to go jogging. And I'm going to shave my head. I always knew he aged horribly. Yeah. I mean, Johnny, Car Johnny Carson aged with grace. Before his death, <laughs> he, just, he just looked like an older version of Johnny Carson. Conan, Conan looks great for his age. And uh, screw you, Jay Leno. That's my opinion. <laughs> okay, so uh, apparently Shakespeare. You know William Shakespeare, the famous writer William Shakespeare. Yes. Apparently, uh, someone who you know, who you know, checks all the graves and makes sure it's all cut to date. Uh, archaeologists actually scanned the gravesite of William Shakespeare and said that his uh, body is missing the skull. His skull is missing from the rest of his body. Somebody stole the skull. Yes, his skull is gone. We actually, the police actually have a suspect in mind of who actually sold the skull. If we're going to post a picture of the suspect, any moment we're going to post a picture of the suspect and uh, if you know any questions or any leads to him, we can find him. Who is that suspect? Let's see who that suspect is. So how was your day? Good? Excellent. 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 Oh, there's the suspect. Oh, there he is. I'm just going to oh, move out of the way there. The suspect, oh, there you go. The joke <laughs> just failed right there, ladies and gentlemen. The suspect was Hamlet. Hamlet. Hamlet, get uh, it? Of course. Get it? Because you know Hamlet had the skull. He had the skull. I get it. I get you it. ever had a joke who, fail? Who, and who then you wrote had... this stuff? <laughs> William Shakespeare has prior. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So, moving on. Moving on, though. Uh, a 31 year old man has, uh, this is about last week while we were off the news, but uh, it was great news. I had to share it, though. 31 year old man hijacked a bus at knife point in Toronto and made oh, the, no. yes and he made the bus driver drive to Tim Hortons to get coffee coffee yes the just bus, for coffee just I, coffee, knew, maybe or I no. knew Tim Hortons coffee had crack in it because like only crack would make you do something like that yeah it's, Rob Ford actually got five espresso shots in his coffee see? every morning and then he did crack coincidence I no I don't not. think so no but no, he drove. He made the bus driver drive all the way to Tim Hortons, and he got out. While he got out, the police went in and arrested him. The police, the bus driver is okay. He's just a little shooken up. Did though. he get his coffee at least? You know, what? if I was the police, I would let the guy get the coffee after you all know, the trouble. Just get get his coffee. He was determined. Yeah. But well, maybe he'll get his coffee in jail. We'll see. Do they drink coffee in jail? Yeah. I, I think mean, so. it's hot. They can throw it into a. Sure. Why not? Do they drink cold coffee, like an ice cap? I, I don't know if they have an ice cap it's machine. like lukewarm. Probably not. Like, who drinks lukewarm coffee? Well, they can't have it hot because then they can use it as a weapon. How about this? You go to jail, you find that out, and you report back to us. Okay? I will do that. So commit some crimes, and we'll get back to you on the coffee. No, on location. Jail. What? what? <laughs> yeah. So Hulk Hogan, yes. Famous WWF, WWE, NCW. Is it NCW? Uh, excuse me. Uh, this lovely lady is giving Sorry, me some... So Hulk Hogan, yes, actually went to court and took the website Gawker to court and actually won. So apparently back in 2012, uh, Hulk Hogan made a sex tape with his uh, friend Bubba's wife. And apparently the friend took the tape and sold it to different websites. Gawker bought it. But uh, Hulk Hogan sued All right, and was I'm awarded. All right, I'm back. Let me do that again because oh, you yeah, interrupted sorry. me. Sorry, sorry I interrupted you. I screwed up your flow, didn't I? I'm this close of sending you up the river. All right. So all Hulk right. Hogan actually was awarded uh, $115 million from the website Hulkamania. Walker. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Rocky, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Do your, do your Hulk Hogan impression. Hulkamania. Woo-woo. <laughs> there you Stop go. Stop to a slim gym. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, Hulk Hogan was awarded $115 million from the website Gawker and pretty much... For the sex tape and any damages. Score. And also, Hulk Hogan is the first person to win a court case while wearing a oh, do-rag. Thank you, my dear. What is that? Oh, More you. breaking news. More breaking news. My God, look. Henry Cavill locked himself out of a hotel room naked. That's And none of the news. women complained on that one. Who would you rather? Ben Affleck's Batman or Henry Cavill's Superman? Uh, both with fudge. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Hey. <laughs> 
I'm more of a whip. I'm a more of a whipped cream man, but whatever floats your boat. To be honest, though. Excellent. Yes, but uh, Prince, you know the five foot midget in purple, Prince. Prince, formerly known as Prince. Was but it? now he's back as Prince. Oh, he's known he's as Prince. Prince formerly known but as then the formerly, symbol, and, and then he's back, he's to, Prince. back to, Prince to Prince. Prince did a surprise I, show. Tickets went on sale yesterday. Sold out in a minute. Not in a minute, a couple minutes. Excellent. He's actually doing two shows in Toronto tonight and tomorrow at the uh, Sony Center here in Toronto. Tickets mm. sold out fast. It went from prices of 135 to 325 dollars. Wow. I don't want. I wouldn't pay three hundred twenty-five dollars to see Prince. I got YouTube. Type you can it in. You barely see him because he's so small. That, anyways, you right? have to be on the stage to see him. And you have yeah, to have an binoculars like too. Is that row. Prince? No, I can't tell. No, no. So apparently, uh, here in Toronto, also a bus that is going east on Queen Street sideswiped a scooter. Oh, you see yeah, this? Yes. I've seen this. This the is bus good. Driver didn't this care. Is we good. don't have video of this because we just found that out like recently. Oh yeah, it was a good one. But would you, you tell the story? You know what that is. Uh, well, I just. The bus was going straight and the, I guess the scooter tried to veer in on the right and then the bus came to a stop and took that scooter right out. It was, it was Ooh, hilarious. Toronto for it you. was so funny. Fans of Parkinson's have been looking forward to the new Nike shoes that's coming out late this spring. The Bash the Future shoes have now been announced that they're going to release them. They're going to be free lace, lace, them, lace yeah, themselves up. Yeah, they, like, they tighten okay, up all on Bash the Future their too. Own. Remember those shoes he puts on? They're going to be released. Pretty much Nike, for a pretty penny. Nike, Nike is, is, is uh, coming out with them, so the child labor uh, wages should go up. Yes, because so of hopefully, that yes, hopefully right? it will go up. So, but uh, but though it's weird, the stuff we have now is the hoverboards, which we do have there. Yes. We actually have what we have um, the Nike shoes. We have the the hat that Marty McFly wore in Back to the Future, and, and minus the flying cars, a majority of the stuff that was in Back to the Future too now exist. That's true. So if it wasn't true. for Back to the Future 2, we would not have the stuff now. So, But we have mm. the stuff now because of Back to the Future mm. 2. So think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that, though. Now, back to another statement we did last week, and hopefully it continues because I spent 10 minutes on working on the video, a thing called O Canada. So uh, we're going to take a look around the country and see what's going on in the, in the Excellent. country with a thing we call O Canada. Let's uh, roll to that. Did I tell you I have blue eyes? I do. Oh, look at that. So we're going to go around of the beautiful city of Canada and see what's going on in each province. We're going to start with BC. Yes, British Columbia. West side. West side. I can't do it. I don't look cool. You can do it. Look, look you have fancy clothes on. You got expensive. This probably is more than my goddamn mortgage. <laughs> Maybe. I'm wearing something from H and M that I got on sale, and I was, I was like, and I'm wearing a shirt I wore to in high school. I'm cheap. This guy's classy. Okay, <laughs> so uh, BC, British Columbia Privacy Commissioner la uh, launches an inquiry into a device that allows police to security monitor mobile phones. So they're gonna allow police to look in your phones. Excellent. No, I don't like it. No, I send dirty pictures to my girlfriend. She's right there, hi. I have received some of those. Please don't want to see that. No one wants to see that. We're gonna go down to Alberta. Now, Alberta, an eight-year-old girl is in life-threatening conditions after being struck by a vehicle in the southeast side of Calgary. Oh no. Hope she gets better. Yeah, recover. In Saskatchewan, a 19-year-old man is in recovery after having his throat slashed by a 19-year-old girl who was taken into custody. Mm. Let's hope it was, let's hope Sounds not. Sounds like a domestic. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. In Manitoba, in Earl, South Central Manitoba on Friday. Peggers. Peggers. But in mm. Manitoba, a uh, toddler is still missing, who's been missing since Tuesday evening. The two-year-old boy disappeared from his farm hole, farm in Austin, Manitoba, about 120 kilo kilometers in West Winnipeg. I am messing up today. Well, he must not like the farm life. Maybe he's uh, moved yeah. to the city. Well, hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he's found safe. Yeah. But uh, in Ontario, yes, here in Ontario, parts of Ontario was hit with an icy spring storm that took down trees and power lines. Do you remember the storm in 2013? I do. Blackouts. I do. People were out food, power was out. It was just, it was a mess. It wasn't that bad. It was, I know Markham was hit most with the blackout. Were you affected by it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got I a wasn't. couple hours. Couple hours what did you do? Just on I think we played trades in the, with candlelight. Let me guess, uh, Helen Keller, uh, the color black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something uh, like that. You also have an Oreo cookie? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, that's been charades in the Pitch dark. black, Thank pitch you. black. So in Quebec, mayor wants to share the 2026 Olympic with Alberta and BC. Come on, Quebec, you want to separate us, but when something good comes, you want to jump right back into the pot. You're like an ex-girlfriend. Come on, Quebec. No, 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 no. Frogs jumping around, eh? 
Now, I was going to do a frog, but I didn't <laughs> die. I don't know my animals. Okay. New Brunswick. New Brunswick is posing changing rules in deer hunting, which, allow, which is going to allow you now to use crossbows. Excellent. But, yes, that's not going to that's not going to backfire. Hopefully, okay. If they're going to let humans use crossbows, they have to let the deers use bow and arrows. Is that fair? That would be that fair. That would be fair and it would be a great Cause show. Because they don't have any opposing thumbs. They have their like, hmm. pull their like, hoof yeah, in one and pull and stuff. It would be hard. It would be difficult. I would like to see that. I would watch that. I would uh, go yeah. to the woods because now deers will have weapons. It's like, it's like Planet of the Apes. But I like, think somebody should put on like laser beams on them or something like that and make it more okay, fair. Settle down there, Doctor. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, Nova Scotia. Over 200 protesters showed up to the Nova Scotia courthouse to protest the rule of Gramashi case that we said before. So it's a worldwide Canada thing, though. And in PEI, new genetically engineered potatoes approved for Canada, which now would average. Uh, sorry, the Excellent. girl from PEI is laughing. Which sorry, this new GMO, more GMO. Excellent. So the new ge uh, genetically engineered potato said it's going to be an advantage to the buyers and to the island farmers. So would you eat a genetically engineered Modified. potatoes? <sighs> It's already starch and it's, yeah, I don't radiation. know. Yeah, radiation. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see what happens. They probably sell it at McDonald's already. Probably. It wouldn't be a surprise. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, breaking you? news. Oh. Excellent. Thank you, my dear. Oh, what is this? You want to read this? Oh, yeah, sure. You can read that. I'm not going to read the first line because I might be guilty of this one. So uh, if you put a black bar over my eyes right now, that'd be appreciated. We want to read the first thing right now. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Pirated Blu-ray copies leaked online. <laughs> and yes, I have watched this one. It's a good copy, actually. I have no idea what you're talking have, about. I've no. never pirated I mean, anything uh, in life. I'm a civilized human being and I pay my taxes. Android box. I don't know. They have it on there. One well, we can not watch it. It made a lot of money. It made over $2 billion. Yeah, they have enough money. I can watch pirated <sighs> copy. Came. If this was 1991, I'd been so excited. But now I'm not too excited. Guns N' Roses has confirmed. GNR. A North American tour. Oh no. Nothing is more sad than seeing Axl Rose on stage sweating yeah. and swearing and I am getting old. I am though. getting old. Are you looking forward to Guns N' Roses? <laughs> I love Guns N' Roses. I love the GNR. When Slash was still part of it, when the original, <laughs> original thing. But uh, we'll give a couple shout outs to some people. Uh, yeah, shout out sure. to my uh, family back at home in Winnipeg. How are you guys doing? Uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, Neon Energy Drink. That stuff will energize you. Uh, do you guys have a slogan? Um, not really. Can I make one up? Sure. Energy, neon energy drinks. It's not crack. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. See, give me my, give Rob me my Ford, our, rest in peace there. Oh, do make him like that's what they're gonna do. They got like Tupac as a hologram, and they're gonna oh, all these yeah, dead celebrities yeah, yeah, to promote yeah, stuff. Can. Let the man chill first, okay? <laughs> well, we're gonna do a quick commercial for Ultra. Our our uh, producer over there, our tech guy. Yeah, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi. He was he was in Miami. Miami He's doing all coverage for the. Huge uh, music festival, yep. Ultra. Ultra. It was uh, pretty insane. He, we got uh, just a little clip here with him, uh, the finale of Carl Cox. Yes. Um, Distraction was on stage at the time, yep. filming Carl Cox on stage for the finale. So we're gonna take a quick look at that. I think uh, it got like 100,000 views in like two days. So it's just massive, yeah, it's A crazy. little bit less than the leaked Blu-ray version of The Force Awakens. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yep. But uh, yeah, take a quick look, and I'm still jealous that Yoshi went to Miami. You saw very nice ladies and bikinis. We're not lying. We're not lying. I was stuck here in the icy rain, <laughs> so screw you, Yoshi. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. A big uh, thanks to Yoshi for that. Up Music, Carl Cox, and Alan Aldro for that uh, nice piece. And Chino, that sex change worked for you. Looking I good. know, I'm looking, looking amazing. Wow. That energy drink goes like that. Does Actually, more than just give you energy, trust mm, me. It gives you a sex change. No, I'm here with uh, my new co-host, Emma McKinnon. Uh, me and Emma go back a year. Is that, has it been a year? No, what, uh, not even a year. When did you move here? Well, a year ago, but I haven't known you for a Whatever. year. Whatever. Thank okay. God. Thanks for making me look like an ass on TV. No, Emma McKinnon here. Uh, yes, uh, you are good friends with my uh, beautiful girlfriend, Quinn. I am. Who's in there? Hi. How you doing? Hi, Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Hi. What part of be quiet? <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. I'll deal with you at home. Don't treat her like She's that. She's going to kick my ass. I'm joking. My girlfriend run, wears the pants in a relationship. I love her. I love her. But she's going to kick my ass because you are a Muay Thai fighter, is that right? I am, yeah. I've been doing Muay Thai for about a year now. And actually in three weeks, it is my first fight. So Very nice. don't Very mess nice. with me. I don't. I, that's why I keep my mouth shut around you, to be honest. That's why I just nod and smile every time you come over, you're like, hi. And then you're like, hi. And then you kind of look at me like, oh, he's not wearing pants. I'm like, yep. And Quinn's like, oh, Trust me, I'm used on. to it now. It's fine. I know. She comes in, I'll eat my chicken wings, eat pants. I don't eat pants. I eat chicken wings with no pants on. Sorry. But, uh, so yeah, so Muay Thai. Let's tell the audience about yourself. Where are you from? Why are you here? I am from PEI and yes. uh, the genetically something about potatoes. potatoes. Ge genetically engineered potatoes. Would you eat that? Probably. If they're from PEI, they're good. But what? They have chemicals and stuff. Like they that. already have chemicals. Touche. The more you know. The more you know. More you yeah, know. so I'm from PEI. I moved to Toronto about a year ago. And uh, it's good up here. It's fun. Glad you like it. Yeah, it's so pretty good. Toronto's a little bit bigger than PI. To be honest. It's a lot, a lot bigger. I think there's like 10 times more the people, amount of people. Very nice, very yeah. nice. You, you yeah. love the CN Tower, is that true? I am obsessed with the CN Tower. I have a strange fascination with the CN Tower. Every time I see it, I just get excited. Like, I live here. Yes, yeah, so awesome. a, a girl getting excited of a large erect stand. You can't Make blame you, me. Can't blame you. There you go. It's bigger than any guy will be, so. Boo booch. Thank you. Good night. That's Emma for you. But uh, so you came here and uh, were you doing any Muay Thai fighting in uh, PEI? I actually didn't even know Muay Thai was a thing until I moved to Toronto and my roommate got me into it. Um, I was bored at the gym one day and I said, take me to your gym. And he did. And I instantly fell in love with it. I didn't know anything about martial arts whatsoever. The difference between you and me is that you said, I'm bored. Take me to the gym. I'm like, I'm bored. Let's see the far away from the gym. I haven't been to a gym since, uh, what year is it, 2016? I'm 27 almost, it's almost 27 years I haven't been to a gym. <laughs> but uh, no, you, so you are in training now, to be honest. I am, yeah, yeah. You're training for what now? I'm training for a fight. Uh, three weeks from tomorrow I have my fight 
and I train six days a week, three hours a night. So that's pretty intense. It's pretty fun. Yes. I like it. Now, I, she's in training, and I know for a fact is because, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know she's in training because uh, I said, hey, let's all go for dinner with my girlfriend. I said, let's go get some ribs and fries. And she's like, no, it's okay. I'll have an apple. So that's dedication with them. I had a can of tuna last night for dinner. Yeah, I know. You left it in my garbage can. I thought it was cat food. And I thought you and my girlfriend were eating cat food. I was like, eat. And I actually picked up the can and I thought it was cat food. And I was like, oh no, it's tuna. So it's just my supper. I thought you guys were eating cat food. And I was actually scared for a moment. Because you guys, no one was there. I was by myself and there was eating cat food. I mean, I'm sure it's nutritious. But Cats cat can eat it. Cat food? Of course, it's, they don't want to eat cat food. That's just nasty. But back to your thing now. So uh, you train. How long do you train at the gym? I usually get there around 6.30 and I stay until about 9.30. So I'm working uh, pad work and sparring with my coaches. Um, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty intense. Sometimes I spar with other people and usually I kick their ass. Do you give I just saved well done. the paper. Do you want to give any shout outs to people at the gym? Shout out to my coaches who have been just amazing with me and believing in me all this time. Shout out to one of my friends who won his fight a few weekends ago. Um, he did me? awesome, Alec. Good Alec. job, Alec. This is Emma. Alec, Emma. Yeah, we're friends. How are you guys he knows doing? Me. Yeah, he's yeah. good. Uh, yeah, shout out to Triumph Muay Thai, who is a new gym. They opened up in November. And if you're in the Scarborough area, you should definitely check it out because it's an amazing atmosphere and a great coaching staff who just believe in you and push you to be better than you thought you could ever be. Very nice. Very, we actually have some video of you uh, sparring. Yeah. You want to play that video and uh, to prove that she's an ass-kicking Muay Thai fighter. Or you don't play the video, it's okay. So Emma, tell me, what's your favorite color? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is me. That's you. So you're not the guy, right? I, well, maybe I am. Oh, let's see. Oh, 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 there you go. He's actually one of the few people that can and, kick my ass. And who's that? That is Jeff, he's also yeah. training to fight. Now, do you guys ever just say screw it with the pads and just bare knuckle fight? Or is it like fight club you don't talk about it? We just kind of go with the flow, you know? Kind of thing? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you yeah. picture someone else when you're punching? Like, because it's your, your friend. Do you no. picture someone else or you just picture Jeff, I'm going to kick your ass? Or do you picture someone you hate? No, because when he punches me, I get really, really angry. Touche. And I just want to kick his ass three times harder. That was I have a tiger That's right my there, coach there. Gentlemen. I have a tiger. That is my coach. His name's Justin. <laughs> oh, there. oh, well, that was great to see. So now I actually, is, like I said, I haven't been to a gym in 27 years, so I have not gone with my girlfriend and you seen it. So I've actually now seen you kick ass. So uh, that is, yeah. You're actually, you're in jeans and a blouse. So uh, we're actually going to try some Muay Thai fighting right now. Let's keep your, let's do it. Let's try some now if that's doable. Uh, we have a padding because if she kicks me, Oh. I won't kick him hard, he can't handle it. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do, let's move the chair so I don't break my neck like Hillary Swank did in Million Dollar Baby. We we'll move that over there. All you need is a couch cushion from your local couch. How do you want me to hold this? Well, um, maybe hold it off to the side a little bit. Hold, yeah, well, move your arms, not don't move your body. Okay. Cut, uh, just a little bit more. Okay, so watch the money maker. Okay, like this? <laughs> okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Emma McKinnon. A little, uh, a little bit more. Oh, geez, God, nothing's perfect. Okay, so uh, what is this kick called? A swing kick. I'm gonna guess she's gonna do a swinging kick. And just, that's my hunch. And uh, I'm in jeans and heels, so jeans I don't know heels. how this is gonna go. So am I, but. But yeah, okay, there you ah. go. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> that was, ow, that was Emma McKinnon uh, with, um, Jesus, tap dancing Christ, that's hard. <laughs> so, uh, well, you, I'm gonna piss blood now. So, uh, that's Emma McKinnon with uh, Muay Thai swing kick um, fighting. So, uh, where are you gonna be training? Um, just talk while I just heal myself, okay? Just tell, tell them more about your mo <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right in the kidney. Um, that's where you're aiming. <sighs> She's been penting that up for a while now. Okay, let's bring the chairs back. I need to sit, jeez. Don't remind me not to piss you off in the future. Don't mess with Quinn. I don't. Then you'll have to go through me. Quinn is mean to me. I love her, but geez, she's mean to me. I'm, I try to be nice to her. I buy her flowers and stuff, and she's like, no, I don't buy me chocolate too. I'm like, Quinn, no. 
Okay, so we have some more stuff right here. You want to, yeah. uh, let's give, let's give yourself a chance. You, you can be a news anchor and a Muay Thai fighter. You put down your resume. You wanna... Well, do you know who Senchai is? I do, but we want to tell the audience who that is. Yeah, well, he is uh, Thailand's pound for pound king, and he's won Thailand's uh, Lumpini Championship title in four different weight classes and weight divisions, along the WMC and WBC world titles. He is like one of the top, if not the top, Muay Thai fighter in Thailand now, right now. Are you going to fight him? When you, you're going to Thailand, right? I fighting? am going to Thailand in October, hopefully, to train and kick some butt. So all I'm gonna say yeah. is good luck and don't bring back any diseases because you come into my house and please don't. Be healthy and be safe. That's what I'm gonna say though. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. See, I, I I'm like it. a backhanded compliment. I say nice things, but it's kind of like a F you to your face. That's me. That's Eamon McNeish for you. Maybe I'll just like trade you. I'll bring you over there and I'll trade you for something. Trade me, trade me with those businessmen. Yeah. Whatever. Get you into like the service industry or something. Hey, I got the lips. I got the hips. I got the moves. I can do it. So. Try some else. Pardon me? I, sorry, I'm almost <laughs> there. I said, we'll try to read some more news there. All right. Well, Shane Mc, Mc, How do you say that? McMahon. 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 As Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu training for his WrestleMania 32 match with The Undertaker. No. McMahon, yeah. You know who McMahon is? Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch the fights? The UFC fights? When? Last night? No, no. Two when? weeks ago. What McGregor was against Diaz. You know what I was doing? I was here at Distractional Studios preparing for the news. No, but uh, if you had a pick to fight with anyone in the world, famous, dead, so on, who would it be? <sighs> Besides me, because already kicked my ass. Probably Quinn. Quinn is- I just want to kick her butt. No, but in all honesty, Ronda Rousey. Oh, but she's, okay, she's gonna kick my, I'm, okay, I'm shit talking someone who kicked my ass. She's not mentally stable. She is mentally stable. No, I've heard, there's been news reports that uh, she, after her fight with Holly, that she lost, that she actually contemplated suicide. After she that. did, she went on Ellen and she talked about yeah. how, if she wasn't the champion, how can, you know, she, she doesn't know anything other than being a champion. And that's good, that's good that she lost. No, no it's good, it's good to be knocked down a peg and- And she would lose the, the second time to me. Oh, so, it's fighting words right there, ladies and gentlemen, fighting words. I would pay to Rhonda. see that though, but, uh, so what kind of match would you like a cage match, an open match, just in the street fight? What kind of fight would you want to fight her? In the ring? What kind of, what do you want in the ring. In the ring? I think yeah. a street fight's the best. I think I oh, wouldn't do me. that. You can't beat a street fight. I'm sorry, that neon drink is so good. That actually is making my body want more. So uh, yeah. Okay, then wrestlers, like, you know, WWE, WWF, who would you want to fight? Ah, uh, I don't know. Macho really Man, Ready Savage. But maybe John Cena, does he count? Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> but every John Cena is too like, in the mainstream. Like, like he's go, awesome. That's why he's mainstream. Ooh, yeah. Like, I like Hulk Hogan. I like he 90s Hogan. He is mainstream, come on. He is made. No, I don't care about the old. This the, guy. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about like the good old days. Like, like Hulk Hogan before the whole like creepy sex tape thing. I'm talking about like the the 90s whole Hogan. Okay, but John Giant. Cena is awesome from when he, he was awesome charity to work. now. He's I still like, awesome. He has great charity work, and he is actually the Make-A-Wish Foundation. He's the number one uh, person. And he's a great That's meme. Great. Yes, two shades. But as, as his persona as a wrestler, I do not like. I like The Undertaker. I like... Uh, the Undertaker's good. Un right. I like uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. The Hardy Boys. I like Andre the Giant. I like... Yeah. 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 I don't like Chris Benoit for many reasons, and you know why. But I mean, so you would fight John Cena, right? I would fight John Cena. Do you think you can keep John Cena? I fast? feel like I could take John Cena. Yeah, Maybe so. if it, it was more Muay Thai oriented. No, it's wrestling. It's street wrestling. You have to. I wrestled with my friends when I was younger. Does that count? Did you win? I I would say I won. I wrestled a dog once and it licked my face. Does that count? No. You wrestled a dog. What kind of? animal are you the dog took my candy i wanted it back because the, the, dog, the dog was hungry did you ever feed the dog it's not even my dog you're a terrible person. i'm on the st i'm walking i'm like five years old and this dog takes my food and i'm like well here i want it back my mom doesn't feed me not because we were poor it's just my mom was like my mom's pig bundy i love my mom but she's pig bundy she actually went out to the store to go buy food she came back with a new wardrobe and we said mom we're hungry and she's like oh it's okay i already ate so that's what I had to do. It's a dog eat dog world, literally out there. So uh, we're gonna do some other news. Oh God, hello, cutie. Oh, thank How you doing? You. Oh my God, thank you very much, though. Uh, 
Watch this. Oh, a video. So this is a shocking moment right now in uh, Brussels. A, sh uh, a hij hijab wear hijab wearing Hi woman steps on a Brussels memorial tribute to remove an Israel flag from their shrine. So, uh, any top opinion on that? We're back to the I, beginning of the top story about ISIS and the Brussels Yeah, attack, I mean... Again, we're you have the same mind frame as I do. Screw you, ISIS, pretty like much. ISIS, but ISIS has attacked more Muslims than they have any other race. I mean, and, and the only thing getting highlighted is, you know, Brussels and Paris. Like, yeah, yeah it's not cool. I there's mean, more shit going on in their, in exactly. their own country. Than I mean, there's so many Muslims and it's just a small, small, small percentage that are actually radicals. So you're trying to paint Muslims and there's as there's radicals bad. in every religion, yeah. not just Islam. There's, here in North America, there's KKK, there's many other, there's a whole bunch of other places. What's that, that, that church in the States? Oh, uh, uh, you know what West I'm Baptist, talking about? Yes. Those are, those those are crazy. Those people are They protest nuts. funerals, soldiers' funerals. They're crazy. Have you seen the movie Kevin Smith? Great movie. You won't even know it's a Kevin Smith movie until you're half, like until the credits, but Red State. Have you seen it? I have not seen that. It's on Netflix. You want to come over tonight and watch it? I am coming over. There's like, there's no sexual <laughs> in the end. Just you coming over watch a movie. There's no like, oh, are they going to, will they, won't they sexual tension? There's none. And no, I'll tell this you is why. my best friend's boyfriend. Because she just kicked my ass and I'm probably going to piss blood tonight and there's nothing from that. But uh, some other news. Did you know that bears who eat out of trash cans and eat out of picnics have higher sex drives and reproduce more? How, many, how much so time So the new portal that just came out hands. is called Yogi Bear Sticking It in Her Picnic 2. <laughs> As you want to see that, uh, ooh, look at that, that's a great oh. video, that's a great image to see Yogi Bear sticking it in her picnic. That Congratulations, is, Congratulations uh, kids, haunting your dreams forever now. That is not something, that is not a way I wanted to see Yogi Bear. Speaking of animal sex, SeaWorld has announced they're going to stop uh, orca breeding from their, uh... It's about time. Yes, because I'll do all, to do all the protesters and people saying that uh, SeaWorld is losing tons of business. Do the fact that Ever since Blackfish. SeaWorld has lost billions of dollars. Billions? Or oh, billions? easily. Billions? Easily. But people are protesting saying that they're inhabited, they're not treated properly, and they're losing business. So uh, They're not. The, the orcas are meant to, you know, swim miles and miles a day, but they're stuck in this, crammed in this little tank. So yeah, they've stopped uh, orca breeding. Now I need something new to masturbate now. So thanks, SeaWorld. Screwing us over again, though. But American, stu uh, American student... Otto Warmbin was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor in North Korea. The image is still up there. That does not go with the story. So, ah, oh, there we go. So Yogi Bear was sentenced to hard labor. <laughs> no. See, I did their porn hard labor. Get it? Uh, puns. Okay. American student Otto Warmbin was sentenced to 15 years hard labor in North Korea, North Korea for ripping down a uh, poster. That's it. And he was sentenced to 15, 15 years. 15 years hard labor. He was on the stand in North Korea, crying, pleading for his freedom, which... Right. Go, first of all, going to North Korea was your first mistake. That was, that was just a Second terrible was, decision. Yeah, I mean, like, you don't go to North you Korea. Watch you watch the interview, it. right? You know what happens there. Yes. That was a very legit description. You illegally of, downloaded it because it got leaked online and Netflix. So, uh, back to the Star Wars. Did you see Star Wars Force Awakens? I have no interest in seeing that movie. I'm sorry. So Emma McKinnon's gonna be our last guest tonight for many reasons. No, you don't like Star Wars? I am more of a Lord of the Rings kind of person. Oh god, okay. This is as to quote clerks, the problem with Lord of the Rings is that it was just a three hour movie in three parts about walking. That is not no, that is not what happened, okay? Do you like Harry Potter? Yes, I like oh, Harry god. Potter. Really? This is not gonna work. Which which one's your favorite which one's your favorite Harry Potter? I don't know. All of them? They're all great? Uh, not necessarily. The There's th ones that are better than others. Oh my god, sweet Jesus. What else do you like? Do you like One Tree Hill? Uh, that's what we're going to watch tonight. You know I can kick your ass, so keep your opinions very limited. There's witnesses here, though. I'm, all I'm saying yes. is that... They'll okay. agree with me, trust me. I did... I, the first... Okay, the, okay, the Lord of the Rings movies are greatly made. They have great special effects, storytelling. The Hobbit movies suck. Did you like the Hobbit movie? I disagree. The Hobbit movie, I liked. The Hobbit first part was good. I I think it was less interesting than Lord of the Rings, but I also think that it was still very, very well done. I actually went to the Shire. I got to see the Bill Baggins house up front. Do you do drugs or you actually went to the Shire? No, I actually, w I wasn't on shrooms then. But oh. yeah, I went to the Shire and it was great. How was that? Did you get your neck hurt by the end of it? Crouching it, down? It, and... No, not well, no. 
I mean, my friend is hobbit height, so it was perfect for her. Love you, Bron. I took a couple of uh, extra Flintstone vitamins and I saw the Muppets and they're all talking. You're still short though. Oh, I'm taller than you, princess. Not on your heels though, I'm taller than you. No, you're not. How tall are you? 5'8". How tall are you? 5'5 five, five and a half. Maybe in a quarter. That's three inches more. And trust me, as a guy who's short, I take every inch I can get. That came out gross too. Yeah, is that... Which uh, way do you mean? Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Would you... Let's, let's give you a chance to read this now, okay? We'll go through it. There you go. Read this. Into Toronto Eye in the Sky right now. Review. Helen Mirren on Tar Her Helen Mirren. You know the actress from The Queen? How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, sweet Jesus. You're young. You're young. <laughs> You're old. Yeah, You're like I'm, 87. Yeah. I'm 87 years old. I see old. gray bench. hair in there. There's Don't no, worry. There, my hair is a beautiful auburn chestnut and there's not a slight of gray, okay? You just turned I a look, little flamboyant there. No, because I don't. I keep pride in my hair. I don't have any gray. I'm doing good. There you go. Go read, read the news. You 19-year-old Mai Tai fighter. Oh, this is interesting. Blink-182, Bring Me the Horizon, Corn, and more bands announced for 2016 Amnesia Rock Fest. Would you have any interest in going to see that with me? No, because I oh. don't like you. No, I'm joking. Actually, uh, no, I'll tell you why. Because when you're out there, you're gonna get drunk people because Blink-182, I, I don't know where I was going with that though. I like some songs in Blink-182. I don't like uh, Bring Me The Horizon. You don't like it. Bring Me The Horizon? Never heard of them, to be honest. They're a very good band. Corn, I like one song from Korn. Corn's <laughs> terrible, I'm sorry. Okay. Corn and Cobb is good. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, so let's continue reading the news. We're just killing time right now. Then go on. All right. Oh, Syrian refugees bumped from overbooked hotels for oh, Garth yes. Brook fans. So, uh, yeah, in Hamilton, wow. the... Wow. Uh, Welcome to uh, Canada. Yes, yeah. As we know, that Syri uh, Syrian refugees are now put up in Hamilton hotels. And, and late, they've been there for months. Months on end. Months. And Garth Brooks, yes. The 90s country star Garth Brooks fans have now uh, kicked out them out of hotels of Hamilton, Hamilton made them move to a different uh, part of the city because... Uh, 228 refugees, to be exact, yeah. who were told that they were only going to stay there for like five days and it's been like three months. It's like the jury the of the O.J. Simpson trial all over again. Did you watch that show, People vs. the O.J. Simpson? I have seen that, yeah. It's, it's quite interesting, you, actually. When were you born? 96. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I wasn't even really, I don't you think I was a born, thing. After the verdict of O.J. Simpson was found not guilty, you weren't even born. I remember watching it saying he wasn't guilty. You weren't even born? My God. You were born after The Lion King too. I guess. 94. Yeah. Oh, geez. Then yeah, I would, that, yeah, good job. Ah, oh, jeez. I know numbers. Okay, music. What are you listening to nowadays? Oh, everything. The Weeknd. He's my favorite right now. Who else? He, um, Ed Sheeran's good. The redhead cutie. Everyone loves Ed Sheeran. He's adorable. I love him. So, spring's here. It's now after the 21st, so spring is here. But the weather has not agreed with spring because apparently the weather outside is horrible. It was ice storms, snow, and bad weather. It's, it's just been It's like February weather. weather right now. It was 20, like back in February it was 20 degrees, 19 degrees, 18 degrees. Now it's like negative two, Actually, two, zero. where I'm from, PEI, I'm from PEI, Paula. We uh, got a snowstorm a few days ago and everyone is in their houses eating potatoes. Genetically engineered potatoes. And that is PEI right now. You know, I actually got kicked out of the Anna Green Gables uh, thing. But you mean you the got whole... kicked out of Green Gables? Yeah. What did you do? How dare you insult Anne like that? You're a terrible human. Can you act like you're surprised. Are you actually surprised? No, you don't. I've actually was kicked out of the Green Gables thing back in 2003. I started touching stuff and I remember they had like a, an auction for the red, what's your drink? That red uh, raspberry coal? Yeah. And I like bidded like $25,000 they believed me and I ran away. I just, you know what. But Did look, you see her grave? That was an there's annual, a there is a Lucy Mom Montgomery, the author of Anna Green Gables. Her oh, grave. Yeah, no, yeah, the author, I like Anna Green Gables is not a real person, we mean grave. Oh, a lot of people think she's real. They come to Pete, no. yeah, they go, where Anne? And we're like, Anne's fake. Sorry. Yes, Canada, half Canada. Or like, where's Anne? They don't. They think she's real. Anne is not real, and will never ever be real. So Listen, stop asking. Listen, aren't us. real. Ronald McDonald's not real. Uh, Santa's not real. Um, who else is not real? 
Donald Trump's heart's not real. Oh, I hate yeah. that man. Yes. But, um, okay, let's go on some more news right now, though. Chair Park Boys. Yes. Ta speaking of Canada, everyone's favorite loudmouth, swearing, weed smoking, drinking, chipping, chicken finger eating, Trailer Park Boys new season, the 10th season, will be premiering on Netflix this Monday, March 28th. Uh, this, year, this year has some special guests. We have Snoop Dogg, Tom Arnold, the Farley Brothers are directing an episode. I'm excited for it. I that. also heard Shia LaBeouf will be starring in one of or multiple episodes. Don't tell I didn't know that. Then you spoiled it for me. How is that you you were literally saying? Because they're in the trailer. I didn't know Shia LaBeouf. It was on Facebook. You would have found out anyways. I don't follow Shia LaBeouf on Facebook. It was in the news. No, I don't. See, I do my own news. I thought you were a news anchor. I am. But here's the thing. I didn't hear about that. that I, I'm staying away from spoilers on that because I don't want to be spoiled. That's, that's, that's my only I thing. enjoy Shia LaBeouf. Do you actually? Did you like uh, Kindle of the Crystal Skull? I, yeah, because I had a huge crush on him. Who, Harrison Ford? No, Shia LaBeouf as Even Stevens. The really? Even Stevens? Did you see, who was the girl in that movie? Or Even Stevens, his sister? Ren. You see that nude scene she did? No, nice. no, sorry. It was, it I was missed nice, out on though. that one, obviously. It was nice. She was in a movie, a, thr a horror movie she was in, and she did a nude scene. Hmm. I graded the movie about a D. I graded the nude scene about a B plus. Did she at least have nice boobs? Oh. Not to sound sexist, she did. Good. They were great, though. But uh, yeah, Trailer for Boys are premiering this uh, Monday, Netflix, March 28th. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should be interesting. Yes, indeed. I indeed. hope they don't screw it up. Season 9. But uh, also, I had my notes here. The National Environment Research Council did an open poll for everyone to vote on a new name for their uh, multi million research vessel boat. You can submit a name, and the mo more votes the name got, they would actually name the boat. And do you know it yet or no? Because I have the name. Do you, take a guess what it is. I do not know the name. Take a guess. And I am not going to guess take the name. Take a guess. Nature. No, the new name, which won the votes, is Bodie McBoatface. Yes, the new boat for the research vessel is called Bodie McBoatface. That yes. is a classic. And Donald Trump has now been named uh, Dumbass McSmall Penis, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. No. But would you ride on a boat called uh, Bodie McBoatface? I mean, it would make me feel safe because it's like a, like, like, a, like a kid ride at a theme park or something. The name or the actual, the actual boat's a research vessel. It's not like, it's no, not like, like oh, the, name. the name. The name would make me like... feel safe and make me feel like nothing's going to go wrong, even though I'm probably going to get eaten at least by a shark or something. Titanic. Speaking of that, Titanic 2 is being crafted and will probably set sail in 2018. Would really? You, would you go on Titanic 2? Nope. No. But it's global warming, so there's no icebergs. There so is icebergs. There is less, a lot of icebergs. Less, less icebergs due to global warming. But still, I wouldn't get on Titanic 2. That's just open up for can of worms. It's like, would you go on Titanic 2 or no? I would, I would go on, and then once they took off, I would get off the boat and leave. I would amazing. just want to see it. This is the thing. Titanic 2 is going to have a lot of people for many reasons. Historical, people are now going to try to reenact. They're going to, every, every dumbass is going to go to the, the top of the boat. They're going to do the king of the world thing. They're going to have sex in an old Ford car. They're going to paint nude pictures. They're going to get chased around Actually, by Billy Zane. Actually, if Leonardo DiCaprio is, was going to be on Titanic 2, I would risk my life. So I would Kate, not even care. He is too Kate sexy. If Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio promote it or go on the boat, I that boat will make as much money as the world has. I swear to God it's going to do that it's, for sure. No, it's true. I completely agree. But, uh, yeah. But uh, I would not go on that. Now we're going to go into something. As you know, today's Good Friday. Hope you're having a good Friday. But uh, this Sunday's Easter. Happy gonna, Easter, everyone. No, I'm going to tell you what my opinion is on Easter. He's like the negative Nancy. Yes. I don't like Easter. And I'll tell you why. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to be all those, oh, it's a religious. No. Okay, I'll tell you why. I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving. I love Halloween. I love ha Labor Halloween Day. is not even a holiday. It is in my book. I'll tell you why I don't like you Easter. You don't make sense. Easter is about celebrating Jesus, the death and rise of zombie Jesus. And then... Zombie Jesus. Yes. I'm going to hell. Yeah. So, they, you know, you go to church, you celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus. Now it's gone to a whole bunch of uh, bunnies, Easter's, and chocolate candies, which makes no sense, though. Uh, I don't like it. it. It doesn't even have an actual date. When is Easter? This Sunday? When was last Easter? April? When was it? Beginning of March? Two, you don't know. It jumps the calendar. It's stupid. It's a waste of time. 
every single day, I just regret Easter's coming up. But uh, that's the end of our show. I want to give a big thanks to uh, Michael of Dis uh, Distractional and Yoshi for uh, putting this show on. And I want to like my let me thank my guests uh, Chino and Neon Energy Drink, Emma for coming on, Emma McKinnon. Thank Check out her Muay Thai fighting this uh, summer in Thailand. And uh, big thanks. We'll be on next Friday. I will get my tongue fixed because uh, I had a week off and I was doing things with my tongue. I was eating popsicles. Don't think sexual about that. So thanks for showing up. Uh, have a great night and we'll see you next Friday. And uh, happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> oh, I talk too fast. Jeez.